Hey, everyone, I'm Alfred. Oh, no, the microphone. The screw in there is loose. Don't mind that. Oh, do you want me to screw it back in? No, it's... It needs something different, maybe. No, 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 you could just screw it back in. Did it... Did we have to... Did this have to happen <laughs> the second I hit record? Hey, I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Alfred. That's Sarah. And we have life. a few screws loose. Yeah. Uh, what I have here is... This is the chapter list for Half-Life. Now, we just finished Surface Tension, and we're moving into Forget About Freeman. And then Land of Accor, Zen, Goandark Slayer, Interloper, Nineleenth, and Endgame. Mm -hmm. That's all we have left. Does that excite you? Yes. All right. I'm excited to finish another LP with you. This would only make two LPs that I finished with you, though, right? Uh, yes. Because, I mean, we have... Ooh, spoiler, but we have a few we're working on. Yes, we do. It's true. But, uh, you know, I just get so busy that... Yeah, Sarah um, has a real job. A job that, in fact, allows me to dick around at home and not you have You have a real job. Yeah, I take care of your cats. Yeah. And the house. And he makes me dinners. I do, I do. Mm -hmm. I'm the whole package. Yeah. Don't... Be a little bit scared. There you go. You can cook, and you're good at video games. No, <laughs> Yo, the babies. I think having our, our cats around me all the time has made me like more just, I don't know, prone to finding disgusting things cute. We should really go back and watch this LP. Why? What do you think? Be because there is literally a moment where you're like, oh, those ugly, gross things look like our cat. <laughs> and I'm like, Sarah, you're doing this again. Doing what again? You're doing the thing where you think that animals look like our cats. They do. Fat bodies. Small. Roughly the same shape and size as a baby. Whatever you say. The color of cream. You know, Half Life was the reason I learned to use a crow, uh, crossbow. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. Ah, oh, great. We got one of these things. Now, do you prefer a crossbow or a bow and arrow? Uh, I've used both, and honestly, I feel like you get a lot like less satisfaction out of the crossbow. Yeah. Yeah. Do most of the work for you. Um, that said, a bow is a lot harder to use, which is... I think we should abolish guns and just have, like, crossbows. Absolutely. And bows. Um, the thing about a bow is that it's a lot harder to use, which is one reason why people switched. Ooh, okay. Abolish all those and just use those cool Australian slings. Uh, the, like, shepherd slings? Yeah. Are they Australian? No. Oh, what am I thinking of? Boomerang? Hmm. Maybe. Anyway, I want to use a shepherd's sling. And me axe. Yeah, that's a throwing weapon. Anything can be a throwing weapon. Try hard enough. <laughs> Gotta fucking... Remind me of the time. <laughs> so Dylan and Chloe got into a fight. Yeah. Uh, my siblings and uh, Dylan threw something at Chloe, and I picked Chloe up, and I was like, "Oh!" And then he said something mean, and then I took Chloe's shoe off and threw it at him. It was just like the nearest thing. I was like, "You're not getting away with that one, kid." Isn't that like the the most like parental move ever? Oh, you're right. Throwing just whatever's nearest at somebody. So I have a slight issue with the microphone placement. I cannot move my arm as much. Uh-oh. How's that? Slightly better, I guess. What, what, what was different before? That thing is poking into my arm. Oh, I see. How's that? I fixed it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I probably shouldn't touch your arm, huh? I'm like, ooh, we're holding hands. And you're like, I'm trying to play a video game, woman. You all piece of this. Pardon me, guys. Oh, we should play New Vegas. You've played New Vegas. I have not beaten it, though, because I'm a fucking mm. moron. Something I will say, actually, before I say, ooh, we should play New Vegas, you should play New Vegas. We should not play New Vegas. We should. New Vegas. Hey, everyone, in case you're curious as to where the fuck the New Vegas LP went a year ago, um, New Vegas is a pain in the ass to record. That's all. What is it not like? Well, you see how I can just pause and go out of the window here and go click around on other yeah, things? Yeah, yeah, Click on different things and just... And then click right back in and just go right away. Yeah, it's not happy about that. Yeah. So some games, you know, you have to be paused and be very careful about how you do it. Some games you need to... Some games you need to use, like, um... Not task manager, you just need to hit the little uh, Windows key to get them out. But with uh, New Vegas, and for whatever reason, Far Cry. Is the rest of the game just shoot bang? Uh, no, there's some puzzles here. Okay. I've been I've been solving a few of them. Did some platforming challenges we didn't really talk about. Uh, anyway. I think we need more riddles in games. You made me forget. What I was talking about. What the fuck <laughs> Sorry. Was I <laughs> Help me. Hmm. Uh, platforming? Puzzles? No, you asked me We were talking about, uh, how easy it is to exit a certain place. Oh, right, we're talking about New Vegas. So, New Vegas, for whatever reason, you cannot just hot swap in and out of without the fucking task manager. Hmm. And... Opening the task manager just triggers like a one in three chance of the game straight crashing from there. You know? Yeah, no, I get you. Uh, which is bad. You want to avoid that happening. Later. Um, Far Cry Primal's not so bad, but it slows down like fuck. That was a short chapter. Land wow. before. I guess a predominantly shoot banging chapter would be. Uh, oh my god. Short. I just had like the huge urge to be like, drop, drop, drop. I'm in god mode. Wow. Yes. Oh, yes. Big slide. Oh, it was good stuff. Full squid. You know, I, video games is where I can really get out a lot of my impulsive behavior. Can't load in real life. Yeah. One of the downsides. Biggest, I would say. If you could get one generic thing from video games, what would it be? I think I got it pretty hard. I think... Oh, the Black Ops are back. Hmm. Here they are. I mean, honestly, it might just be the uh, saving and loading. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't like how that conversation went. Hold on. Or, oh, I had a sick comeback, but I couldn't say it in time. Yeah. Am I, am I blowing up your ear, by the way? A little bit. Okay, I'll be quiet. It's okay. <laughs> now to take the slowest elevator walk faster than this piece of shit. Hello, sir! Man, he fucking tore those things open like he's a wrestler making an entrance. It'd be kind of fun to, like, keep a lot of things on your person without them actually showing. What do you mean? Like, you know how a video game character has, like... Oh, hammer space. Sure. Yeah, is that what that's called? Yeah, it's the space where a hammer goes. Where's the hammer when you're not using it? It's shut up, it's in the hammer space. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I, the hammer space or mallet space I, I lose a lot of things. 
So it'd just be nice to just like open up a little item box in front of me and be like, oh, this is what I was looking for. Attaché case? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, an attaché case. There's a home Catch stuck. me stimming by organizing my attaché case. <laughs> There's a Homestuck character who has an attaché case. Nice. It even works like the RE4 one. Oh, best. He's got to, like, slot things in to make sure that they're cool. It's pretty solid. How many more must I kill, Gabe? I'm not bored, I'm just very tired. I'm trying to hide my yawns. Yada yada, he says, get to the Lambda Complex. The caffeine is keeping me awake. Yeah. Um, so, do you need a refresher on the plot, like, at all? Because uh, I'm so ready to get bored. So, go ahead. Well, this morning, we blew up a guy's casserole in the microwave. Mm-hmm. Or soup, as you kept calling it. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're observed by a weird, creepy government agent. Uh, as for what his job is, who knows? Or cares? Nice. Got a new gun. It's a proton pack from from Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Look at that fucking thing. Uh, so yeah, we're being kitted out. We are we are explicitly being equipped by the Lambda Complex scientists. Ugh. I don't like how it grapples a little bit when you put it on. It's just like. It's fighting you. You've got to master it before it masters you. Yeah, you got to attach your little hair thingy to its hair thingy. I was literally thinking about an avatar joke. Yeah, right there. it's like yeah. you have to have sex with it before it lets you. Before <laughs> you, it lets it. It lets you ride it. No one talks about that. I mean, some people have, but not enough people have talked about how, like... I don't really like how you, like, kind of force your weird hair thing up on this horse. But they also do that when they have sex. Mm. Like, there's not a good part of that. I mean, you know, that could explain, like, casual sex on that universe. Like, if you just want to have casual sex, you don't attach your hair thingy. Like, there's nothing romantic about this. Bro, I was really into this girl, but she didn't jack her ponytail in my ponytail. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Just, oh, this girl I was into didn't put her USB dick into my USB dick, so now things are really awkward. I guess we aren't serious. Yeah. I like the idea that maybe... <laughs> Do you think they get stuck underwater? What do you mean? Their little hair thingies. What? Remember how I told you that sometimes if you have sex underwater, you can get, like, suction together? Uh, no. Right, so I didn't have this conversation all out. Anyway. <clears throat> You're just gonna leave it? Yeah, I don't know how to explain it in a good way. That was the weirdest thing you've ever said. You're just gonna not... <laughs> okay, so I read this article about a couple who was having sex underwater and they very embarrassingly got, like, suctioned together by the water pressure. The water, like, in yeah. her... In in, yes, her... yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And they had to, like, go to the hospital. Like that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Very embarrassing, very painful. And so... The joke kind of hindered on you knowing that tale. So you could be like... You have to fucking say tale. <laughs> the story. The legend. Honestly, just fucking leave me in the ocean if that happens to me. And it will. My impeding embarrassment. God, having sex in an ocean sounds awful. What if a like, what if you, what if you fuck a jellyfish by mistake? 
I don't... I don't think that's... Come on, man. The vaginas of the sea? <laughs> you don't know what's happening in there. No. That's a gem. That's a penny I can't get. Oh, got you, got you. I sense some fear from you. <laughs> Never take you to the ocean. Good. Do you not like the ocean either? Uh, I've never been not landlocked in my life. Ah, oh, fair enough. I've been all over the continent in the United States, but never anywhere with a coast. Yeah, I just don't like how sandy everything is. I mean, it's, like, fun, but I'm not going to spend my whole day at the beach. Okay, Hayden. Hayden? He played Star, he played Star Wars, man. Mmm. Um, anyway... So, uh, Gordon Freeman started a thing called a Resonance Cascade. After blowing up that guy's casserole, which was foreshadowing, um, he triggered a Resonance Cascade. Basically by... There we go. By, like, activating a thing, he made aliens, like, aware of our dimension. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they just started teleporting in completely randomly. Which is one reason why all of the things in here start falling apart. Because, like, aliens teleport into the groundworks and shit. Isn't that gnarly? Yeet. Um. So then we shot a rocket into space to try to, to, try to stop it. To try to block the portal on our side. Mm -hmm. And we succeeded, but an incredibly powerful psychic being... We don't know that it's one of them, but we have a pretty good guess that it was an incredibly powerful psychic being. He is holding the portal open on his side. Got to have that, at least. I love that this gun just deletes things. Anyway, powerful being holding it open on their side. Uh, which... If you'll note, there's a very cool, subtle detail that nobody notices. Um, if you watch how the aliens teleport in, they teleport randomly until that rocket gets launched. Mm -hmm. And then from that point on, all their teleportations are, like, completely tactical. Sure, sure, sure. Um... So we've got to go find the thing that's holding the portal open and do something about it. I want to know about that per uh, Penny Arcade joke. I've been thinking about it for the last, like, five minutes. <laughs> okay. I'm just like, how? How? I would know. <laughs> okay, so it's a, it's, a New Year's e it's a New Year's comic, right? Mm-hmm. One of the guys is like, um, so it's New Year's resolution. Okay. Uh, and the other one's like, oh, I'm just going to stop caring. Every year I make a fucking stupid resolution and it never goes anywhere because I don't have any self-control or confidence. I'm just not going to do that this year. What about you? And the other guy's like, oh, I'm going to stop jerking off at the aquarium. <laughs> and the first guy's like, tell me about it, right? Jellyfish. Vaginas of the sea. Oh my god. Would you actually want me to take you to a beach? Yeah. What if it's like a cold beach with seals? That might be fun. I'd love that, to go seal rescuing. That kind of feels like one of those like presents you get for your friend or your significant other, where it's like really a present for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I got I you. I took us to Vegas, babe. Oh my gosh, I got you a PS5. <laughs> that one's a surrogate for me. That one really is a uh, like a 50-50, though, I feel like. Well, because I've been talking about it. I was like, Sarah, what would you even play on a PS4? Because I was arguing that maybe we shouldn't get a PS4. We should, like, five, wait. Five, you mean? Yes, a five. Five, yeah, okay. Um, maybe we shouldn't get a PS4. We should wait. And Sarah just starts fucking... You keep saying four. I do. I'm so <laughs> used to a four. I've been playing on a PS4 yeah, I just started like years. I just started, like, naming shit. I'm like, maybe you're the one who doesn't have anything to play on a five. She's like, I want to play the Demon Souls remaster, and I want to play the God of War 5, and I want to play RE8 and HD. I want to play Elden Ring when it comes out. 
Well, there's like a ton. So the problem is that the guy tells you to go somewhere and do something. However, what he tells you is very, very difficult to hear because this game has terrible audio mixing and audio. And what's more, um, doesn't have fucking subtitles. Uh, and in a Let's Play setting where we're talking and not giving him the time to speak. When I get more free time, I would totally do your subtitles for you. I've done them once. Oh, yeah, you did. That was fun. Tanky. Bet you never even heard of Buckshot, you piece of shit. But wouldn't it be a lot easier to do a um, subtitling on a video that was in English? Because you get a lot of it done for you. Through um, Google, or sorry, uh, YouTube? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? Just the... Uh, I actually have a playlist made for videos that aren't in English. And it, it only has the, the one video in it. Maybe I could practice my Korean doing something. Maybe. Ooh, I could sing Say So in Korean. That would be really fun. That'd be funny. Okay. But with, like, super high reverb. That's the new, that's the new Nightcore. Slowed, Slowed in reverb. reverb, yeah. Absolutely. Honestly... Um, every so often, Nightcore will be, like, a thing I, like, revisit, and I'm like, still bad. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it works for, like, the Hatsune Miku stuff and, like, like electronical voices, it works. Electronical? Yeah. Ooh, like, uh, you know, like, like, like the Vocaloids. Yeah. Kind of works for that. Um, and then very poppy songs, like Britney Spears. Yeah. yeah. Kind of fun. Understandable, I suppose. This guy but I mean, isn't Nightcore just speeding it up? Yeah, sometimes. Nightcore's millennial. Slowed and reverbed is Gen Z. So I'm standing in a uh, pool. Pool, a reactor core pool, in fact. Mmm, delicious. So yeah, we needed to uh, get this thing going. <coughs> Pardon me. You don't need it. You want me to? No. What about a rub? Let go of some of that tension. Just thinking about getting a massage going. It's like a Hitachi magic wand, but you shoot it. <laughs> what? Every like middle age, um like woman uh I know has like one of those. I wonder why. Ouch. What? I mean, they're pretty, like, severe. Like, doing, like, that. Look, man, when you're middle-aged, you've run through all the good dick. Fair enough. It's gonna suck. Oh, first try. Um. Yeah, I, I take it the elevator's out, huh? Um. See, we've gotten to a part of the game that's like, eh, it's very run and gunny. Like, I feel like we've almost run the course of cool, fun shootouts that you can have in a place like this. Mm hmm This is kind of interesting, though. Look familiar? Oh, it's a portal. Yeah. When the orange come out the green. Yeah. Do I have my delete gun? I do. And he becomes cheese paste. 
That's like that sp that spell in Final Fantasy X too, where it just has like a chance of um, just killing the enemy. No, it makes the it's the psychic thing. Remember, it's a psychic power where it's like, oh, this just makes the enemy disappear. Yes, and it just like abruptly stops. Yeah. It doesn't work on a lot of enemies, but man, what's that one enemy's name where he has like a countdown until he kills you? Oh yeah, those things. It's pretty fucking good. There's a lot of good enemies in in Final Fantasy X. I don't think it gets enough credit. I wonder. Are you okay with my arm here, by the way? Yeah. Cool. So this is this is a this is a fun kind of imaginative okay puzzle where um, you have to teleport things and they all lead you to different places. Some guy was playing this like some game tester and he was like, "Yeah, more of that." Well, do you actually know the story of like how Portal got like made? I do not. Um, do you know what Digipen is? I do not. Digipen is a, a game design college. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Does yeah. it still exist? I think so. Wow. Excuse me. And anyway, um, students there designed a game called Narbicular Drop, mm -hmm. which had like a fantasy aesthetic and the ability to summon these like two big like open yawning mouths. I'm going to pause here and talk about this. Uh, and Valve saw them, and they were like, hey, we did something like that. Can we hire all of these guys? And they did. That's pretty neat. And that's how Portal came about. And then, a couple of years later, there was a indie game made by DigiPen students again called Tag the Power Paint. And he used a lot of cool, like, liquid physics shit mm -hmm. to simulate throwing paint on something. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a graffiti game, naturally. And Valve saw that, and they were like, oh, neat. And that's where all the fluid mechanics in Portal come from. Mm -hmm. So, like, putting bounce gel on something or acceleration gel or portal gel. It's because they had uh, new staff members who wanted to, and they wanted to show them off. Which is a thing about Valve that I've been talking about. Every new Valve game is, these guys say a bunch of bullshit. Every new Valve game is meant to, like, be pushing the limit. Meant to be, like, trying to do a new thing. What's the newest Valve game? Uh, Half-Life Alex, which is, you know, technically the Half-Life game we've been waiting for for a couple decades. Um, however, uh, so these guys are talking at us about how Zen is really dangerous and shit. Don't go in there. These are the guys from the beginning of the game, I think, Barney and Kleiner. Oh my gosh, how did they survive? Um, actually, no, I don't think this is Barney. Actually, I don't know. Anyway, um, I digress. But every new Valve game is meant to be, like, pushing the limits in some way. And that's why Half-Life Alex didn't come out for so long. Because they wanted to do something new and cool with uh, VR. That's that's pretty much the logic there. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if this is Barney or not. Or Kleiner. This Mr. Freeman is a long jump module created expressly for navigation in the world. I certainly hope you will use long jump cables, because once you're in Zen, you will need it. I would advise you to They've just been, like, hiding in trash cans this whole time. Freeman, know. help! I don't remember how to activate long jump. Hold on. Um, so, there are a few expansions for this game. Remember? Mm-hmm. And, uh... This, this is a bad piece of game design, let me just say. Because you get the long jump module at the very start of the game in the tutorial where they tell you how to use it, right? Mm hmm And then what? I don't know if you noticed, Sarah, but I just got the long jump module. Mm-hmm. We've been playing the... There we go. We've been playing the entire game and we haven't had it. Why? Because it's too good, but look. Oh, that's pretty good. 
thing. You just gotta hold down control and then hop. So yeah, um, so there are, there are three expansions for this game. One of them is about Dr. Gina Cross uh, and her assistant. And if you remember, when we get our HEV suit, there are two empty HEV stands on either side. Mm -hmm. They belong to Gina Cross and her assistant. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. um, and every single Half-Life expansion takes place on the same day at around the same time. Mm -hmm. And at some point, you can even see the other protagonists running around doing shit. In this game? Uh... Less so in this game, but probably all more in the yeah. later games. Because, like I said, um, hey, where's the guy in the suit right now? G-Man. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's around. So that's an alien controller. Gross. Remember when I talked about something with immense psychic power holding the portal open? Mm -hmm. Well, we've we've got the big thing to close the fucking portal. And they're like, hold on, no, you don't, no, you don't. Stop that. And they've sent big psychic power against us. Ugh. Look like squids. So if you look at them, their heads crack open. Yeah. And they, their heads actually open like a flower bloom. Which is very interesting. So if you wait too long, you get a game over. Mm -hmm. open the Naturally. Now. The process is in the Half-Life expansion the Opposing Force, this door opens and you see what killed Freeman. Don't yep. until I it's the, okay. the guy you're playing as. As this door slams open, you see Freeman running into this portal. Mm -hmm. And if you're quick, you can shoot him. Which will give you a game over. That's so confusing. I don't understand. What? How can you be yourself and see yourself at the same time? You're not playing as Freeman in Opposing Force? Oh, sure, sure, sure. All the expansions are about a different uh, different guy. Got it, got it, got it. So, Decay is about Gina Cross and her assistant. It's co-op. Mm -hmm. So, you can kill him. Yes. What happens? Uh, you get a game over, and G-Man's like, I really shouldn't let my subjects like fight amongst themselves. NBD. Um, anyway. All right. Oh, you got this. We're so, there, you ready to see Zen? Ooh. So these are chaotic evil aliens. This is Zen. This is where they're from. That's so neat. And Looks like a dreamscape. So check it out. Other guys have been here. Other guys have been here. Yeah. So, uh, but these guys, these aliens, they're chaotic evil? No. Unaligned? No. Some of them are unaligned. Are they good? Well, recall that these guys, I can actually... Oh, their bodies fell off the edge. Uh oh That's okay. Still god mod. Ah, my knees! My kneecaps! I'm gonna have arthritis by the time I'm 30. Wade's looking for me too, man. Uh oh, that ain't good. Okay, so what what alignment are they? Um, recall that the alien slaves, which we know now are called Vortigons, mm -hmm. have little bracelets on. Mm -hmm. They're wearing jewelry. Oh wow, this place is so pretty. Yeah. These are the things that you said look like our Yeah, little boys. So if you notice, these things are shooting us, and these things. So they're pretty intelligent that they have all this going on. Maybe. It's unclear how much of this is organic and how much is technology. Later on, we see a factory, though, which kind of illuminates it. I love organic technology. It's so neat. And this would heal us if I wasn't in God mode. Yeah, I just got to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. It's a thing I've never experienced. I've never seen that before. Hey, your LP tax is showing. Sure is. Here we go. Here we don't. Oh, okay, never mind. Ooh, this is very Morrowind. Oh, yeah. You said that in the first episode, actually. You get a little, little snippet of Zen. Mm-hmm. And you, you said it looks like Morrowind. Yeah. Anyway.
Anyway, as you may recall, Bordegons are wearing Jurley. Mm-hmm. This is likely some way to control them. Mm-hmm. And it's a hint. This place has hair. Yeah. You never trust a room with hair. You know? Never ever. So if you if you set up a small teleportation, Um, anyway, Vortigaunts are definitely being controlled by something. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a, there's problems here. Big problems. But these things you can see are very clearly unaligned. That thing, however, is less clear. Mm. What's that, Sarah? Sack. No, what's the beast? Is it a mama? It is. Ooh. The little sack jiggling down there is called a mama pod in the Ooh. game code, and you can see it shooting from the head grabs. Mm. Using your babies to attack. That's the American way. But this thing also appears to be just like a beast. Going back to its cave. Get him. I'm coming for you, mama. I'm gonna shoot explosives at your weird sack hole. Hey, put that bag back on. There is not a bag big enough. <laughs> so these things are so Morrowind, may I say. Oh, sorry, I had to get to the arena first. Yeah, pretty much. So I could drop down whenever, like, I die. Is that what's gonna happen? Oh, ring a ding ding. Uh oh. I fell through. <coughs> party, party, party. God, it screams like a woman. You did. I may be a duchess, but I'm also a woman. <laughs> yes! I'm waiting two hours to hear her say that. Ah, oh, fuck, not again. Secret hole. Yeah. Oh, what did you come across? Uh. Okay, so you can be down here. Yeah. Whoops. That's okay. I'll just switch to the big whammy first. And we'll just open the floodgates on her. Um. Hmm. So, yeah, uh. So, is half like one of those things where the difficulty really only just changes health bars? Yeah. Okay. Which is uh, why I really wasn't sure about whether or not I should do this on easy or not. She dead? We're following her down. Can you guys fuck off, please? There she is. Well, she waited for you. Oh, <gasps> she's like a mushroom. A what? Mushroom. You said that weird, right? Yeah. Little well, mushroom legs. Is she supposed to be a mushroom? Eh, yeah, she's supposed to have a very alien design. I mean, all of this really looks just a lot like mycelium. Yeah. It's the most alien thing on Earth. Yeah. Yeah, get down here. Take your licks. That and my brother. Huh? Most alien thing at, at work. Uh, uh, yeah, most alien thing in the world. Interloper. Ah, oh, these fucking pieces of shit come with me. You got an eyelash. <laughs> Man, I really wish people were here when I, like, take a dig at them. Well, luckily we can just show it to you. Yeah, fair enough. 
so um, there have been a few things that. Can I say the name of the final boss? Sure. He's called the Nylon. Mm hmm. I didn't do that right. A little better, maybe closer though. Um, there have been a few things. Why not been... just wait? Well, that's what I'm doing. That guy just got it. Damn. Mm. No cigar. Nope, didn't do it right. I mean, there's a little bouncy thing down there. Maybe that could do that. Hmm. How are you supposed to even get that way? Maybe it is the suck holes. Ouch. Is that an instant death? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, see? They throw you up. Yeah. I gotta collect their sacks first. Hip. And then you ride on the back of one of those. Maybe. You know what we could do, though? Mm -mm. No cleep. Cheat, cheat, cheat. So you can very faintly hear it there. Maybe it's just miscellaneous noises. <gasps> They're back. So this is something very interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, it's about getting that time. Uh, I'll finish with this sequence first. Uh, you are correct, though. So if you look here, you can actually see that there's guards. And there's a very, very simple example of stealth here. You can go that way. Ouch. But you can also try jumping over here. You're really bugging me here, sir. And bypass that little area. I'm going to go over there and bug these guys, though. So you can actually see that these guys don't bug me. Either. Are they worshipping something? Yep. Power. Okay, so what alignment are they? Yeah, hey, uh, like, lawful good. The aliens? Yeah. So they're just being controlled by a bad place. Yeah. Vortigons specifically are like lawful good. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, they're they've been made into slaves of the it's called the Nylon, we're called. Mm -hmm. These things are either like heavily mutated Vortigons or they're an entirely different race of their own. There's a different group of soldiers called Race X that is similar. Um but yeah. And you may notice these weird cheese like crystals are the things that we actually push into the uh, anti mass spectrometer, I think it's called, mm -hmm. to start this whole stupid resonance cascade. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Wait, can we see this? Mmm. It's like um in uh what you call it? Video killed the radio star? No, uh, Dark Souls. When you get to see what's his name's body. Uh. Cough. Yes. Oops. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there's a little there's a little stealth path there that's cool and I'll turn it out. He took it too. Yeah. Everybody's taking the stealth path. Ooh, so this goodies. pulsating sack is actually a nest for the little guys, the snarks. <laughs> snorks. No. Just save time, you know? What just happened? I don't think you were supposed to go down there. I don't think so either. I'll just teleport. I think I got a game over because I did something that would have killed me. That makes the most sense. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you can hear the Nihilans speaking there. But we couldn't hear them, so... We're just gonna go this way. Do, do, 
do do do. Another, yeah, you went down there. Yeah, another pit with tentacles. Yeah, don't go into the pits. Pits bad. Pits are bad. It's the pits effect. Pardon me, sir. Bloop. Um, so yeah, the Nylanth is controlling the Vortigaunts. He's controlling the alien soldiers, is their official title, I think. But it's unclear to what degree. He might just be making a, like, alien race of, like, rat fuck meatheads. Uh, and then just pointing them in the direction of Earth and saying, go. You know? But yeah, check it out. So you'd be a real evil guy if you shot them. Yeah, these guys? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm. But yeah, we can see... Aww. They're generally really good here. And it looks like they're used as, like, factory workers because of their lightning. Just use robots, man. They don't have robots. You see any metal in this universe? Fair enough. Earth is a mineral-rich planet. Um, And it looks Ooh. like this whole place is just made of meat or mushroom or plant material or something. Just nothing but gross, gross. This is, like, really freaky. Like, if they wanted to make this... A horror thing it'd be terrifying we've talked about this before but one thing about this that uh, they don't talk about well they do but other people don't talk about is one of the ideas that Gabe Newell had when playing Doom was if they wanted to play Doom like straight horror it would be so scary mm -hmm. and at one point they did that and, and it was not Doom 3 is straight horror but it's less fun than the others yeah um but yeah, with this, they just had the idea of, like, hey, yeah, what if we just made this game, uh, what if we just played a little scarier? What are you waiting for? Waiting for the wing lift. Mm -hmm. I think I remember how to do this puzzle. Yeah, it's unclear what they're bottling here. Maybe just warp. <laughs> warp. Some gorp. Gorp. Um, so yeah. Ooh, that should be our next cat name. Gorp. Gorp. Gorp follow me for long. <laughs> fur long would be a terrible name, though. Yeah. You can't have a fur long cat, just for short. I think my allergies act up. <laughs> Ooh, they said no. Alright, I'll go a different way. Oh no. Oh no. Uh-oh. If only I had no clipped and given myself infinite health, then we wouldn't be having this problem. Spoosh. So now they're attacking us because they're like, hey, you're not a barrel. Get him. That awful freakish scream you heard was one of the alien controllers. Mm. See that guy. Oh, do they stop attacking you when you shoot him? They might actually. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah. Interesting. Did you not notice that? No, I didn't notice that. I mean, they're the controllers for a reason, right? Yeah. So, did the humans control the controllers? No. There are no humans in this equation. But I thought they were being taken over by a Black Mesa. Hmm. The aliens. No, the Black Mesa was, like, summoning them. So, who has them as slaves? The Nihilus. Oh, I see. Do you want me to give you a little spoiler just to make it easier? It's a big version of the of the alien controllers. Sure, gotcha. So he looks like one of those weird babies. With big. So having broken this barrel open, this we can actually his nipple tassels on a little bit. Breaking these barrels open, we can actually see that they're just the pods for alien soldiers. Mm. I feel like you would get so many diseases just being in here and breathing. <sighs> Babe, what if we went to the like alien like wall and kissed? The alien wall? Yeah, like inside the alien wall, like you're not like doing now. Yeah. I feel like we'd get a disease. Yeah. Okay. 
instant consumption. So yeah, the Nihilanth is controlling the aliens. The Nihilanth is... Well, I'll play the voice lens at the end. Mm -hmm. um, but the Nihilanth is dealing with something. Which is part of what makes the half like the conflict in Half Life so fascinating, because there's way more than you think is going on. Um, and in addition to that, Black Mesa is interfering with the alien dimension, which is called Zen, for the sake of science experiments. And when they actually present a threat by summoning aliens, um, the US military gets in there to kill them all. Did you hear that? Mm -mm. Well, we'll listen to a next episode. Okay. Uh, I've been Alfred. I'm in Sarah. It's been Half-Life. Thank you all for coming. Bye, guys. We're almost done.